channel if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell as well i do drop new content on this channel every single day so with that being said let's get into the video it is friday march 26 and i want to talk about caster maritime ticker symbol ctrm it is down today almost four percent 80 cents now at the time of this video if we do take a look at the chart here for ctrm let's take a look at the three month chart and as you can see February 11th, this stock was at $1.95, a high for the day. Closed at $1.73 that day. Has since completely dipped off. It was down to $0.74. Cents. Now slowly climbing back up so above a dollar for a couple days in middle of this month. And has since dipped back down. But we haven't seen this stock go below $0.78 cents since almost the beginning of February. So I believe that's very positive. Um, again, this stock is a very, very long-term hold here, but I do remain bullish on CTRM and I do want to let you guys know that I am, uh, I do have many shares of CTRM. I have about 1000 shares and I remain bullish on CTRM. And I just wanted to make this video to talk about why I remain bullish, give you guys my overall updated opinion on the stock and update you guys on a few new things regarding Caster Maritime. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get into it. So Caster Maritime, you guys, if you don't know, dry bulk shipping company based in Cyprus. And they're really, they've said at the beginning of the year that they're trying to grow their fleet. And that's ex exactly what they've been doing. So we are, they say on their website, we are a growth oriented global shipping company engaged in the seaborne transportation of a wide range of dry bulk commodities along worldwide shipping routes through our ownership of dry bulk vessels. Now, dry bulk shipping, very important to our supply chain across the entire world and something a niche in a sector that i believe is going to be around for quite some time never going to go away and actually when the covid 19 pandemic first hit um, a lot of people were worried about the supply chain and in industries like this did take initially somewhat of a hit but since then shipping industry and more specifically the dry bulk shipping industry and the maritime industry has gone completely up it's at like close to all-time high as the shipping rates so very very positive here to see that and i think that was initially the reason why ctrm was starting to run up obviously a lot of people on reddit and social media and just traders in general talk about ctrm and try to push ctrm as you can see the average volume 196 million so very very uh, i guess popular stock a lot of people talk about and think about but again still uh, sitting at 80 cents and i kind of believe that we're going to see a run up on this stock very soon not sure specifically when but sometime in the next 45 days um i think we can see cast maritime begin to run up but let's get into it i want to talk about obviously the acquiring of new vessels for cast maritime it's something that it seems like every week they announce a new vessel or a new um acquisition or something of some sort in regards to their vessels and if you just go back to the beginning of the year right january 20th they announced the vessel acquisition february 1st another one february 3rd another one february 11th they announced the acquisition of two more vessels 18th the same another vessel march 3rd another vessel march 10th another vessel customary time on march 12th announced the delivery of another vessel march 19th deliveries of two new vessels and then just three days ago another three another vessel was announced delivery and so this is the most recent one the mt wonder Sirius, and this is a 2005 korean built lr2 tanker and it had been agreed on february 11th like i said and now they have the vessel it's in customary times hands and the MT Wonder Sirius is currently employed under a time charter contract with a minimum duration of about one year, gross daily hire of 15000 And the CEO of Castle Maritime said, we are pleased to announce the successful delivery of the MT Wonder Sirius, the second of our two Affirmax LR2 tankers. These timely acquisitions into the tanker sector diversify our revenue sources while the attached charters provide us with cash flow security throughout 2021. Our two tankers are projected to generate in aggregate, assuming no off higher days, approximately 10 million of gross revenues for the minimum scheduled period of the charters, or approximately 21 million should the charter exercise their options to extend both charters by an additional one year term. So just right there, you guys, the two tankers together, 
10 million dollars in gross revenue and 21 million dollars should the charter exercise their options to extend both charters but an additional year so obviously the revenue and for ctrm it's definitely it's there it can definitely be generated and that's just two of their uh, the two tankers that they have i think now they have a total of around 14 vessels which they started with the year with i think about five so they've just been adding onto their fleet throughout the entire year and something i do like about ctrm as well that is that the the vessels that they have are some of the lowest emitting as far as releasing emissions into the air some of the lowest emitting vessels that you can have in the dry bulk shipping market and that is why i think with the clean energy bills and clean energy being a very a priority for the biden administration at least in the united states i think um ctrm is definitely in that right space moving forward with the clean energy and just lowering emissions in their vessels so again just wanted to update you guys on ctrm i am extremely bullish i do think in my opinion that this stock can hit two dollars um again market cap of 406 million and if you do the math i think two dollars is very reasonable I think it's a stock that, I mean, it was close to $2 earlier this year, earlier in February. But right now at $0.80 cents is definitely a great entry point, in my opinion. I only see this stock going up. And like I said, we haven't seen a price below $0.70 cents since early February. So I think we've consistently reached that threshold of above $0.70. Cents, and I think we'll continue to stay there. So let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about CTRM. Let me know how many shares you guys have and at what price you guys got in at. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, drop a like on this video, and as always, you guys have a great day.